Want to get paid monthly dividends? We got that covered for you in today's video. Now it's been over a year since I last made a video covering the income ETF DIVO, D-I-V-O. It's time to take another deep dive to see if this fund has a place in your portfolio. Now DIVO is managed by Amplify, which is a little bit different than the Global X, Nationwide, or JP Morgans that we've become accustomed to seeing for the income ETFs. Another drastically different part about Divo is their low amount of holdings. Divo currently only holds about 26 positions compared to the 100 plus most of its other cousins offer. Divo is also actively managed, so it's not just rules based or set it at the money call 30 days out from now and just see what happens. It uses a tactical covered call strategy on individual stocks, not indexes. Tactical meaning the portfolio manager is investing based, based on a response to market conditions that are frequently changing. While being actively managed might sound great, remember history and research shows us that passively managed funds often do better than those managed by humans because we often get way too emotional with our stock picking. Divo makes money in two ways. It makes money from the dividends from its holdings when those companies pay out dividends, as well as with the writing of covered calls on those positions. I've made videos in the past going over what a covered call is, so be sure to check those out if you have questions. Divo is currently trading with a dividend yield that is somewhere in the ballpark of 5.2%. That is broken out by around 2-3% to of that coming from dividend payments from the companies that it holds, and another 2-4% to from options premium. So Divo trades for a little bit lower dividend yield than the other income ETFs, but there's always going to be some of these little trade-offs with each of these income ETFs because they're not all exactly the same. I would expect this to be taxed similarly to JEPI, where some of the distribution is tax efficient because they're just buying and holding and collecting dividends, while some of it will probably be at your highest income tax bracket because of the options income. The fund manager is also hoping that investing in blue chip dividend companies and doing options trading might actually provide for lower volatility when the market is declining, such as right now. And Divo has actually had some amazing performance this year. Well, not exactly amazing because the market is still down, but hey, they're still doing better than the overall market. Divo is down about 10% year to date, while well, the market is down nearly 20%. That means Divo is beating the market 2x. So we're getting an investment where we can potentially beat the market in downtimes and get paid gigantic dividends while we wait. It still doesn't seem like everyone's in on Divo's little secret sauce though, as the fund is only controlling 1.5 billion in assets under management. QILD for comparison is in the ballpark of 7 billion. It's a shame because Divo has been around since the end of 2016, and they've been paying dividends ever since. Starting off with quarterly dividend payments, before switching to monthly in July of 2018. One slight knock I have on Divo is that the dividend doesn't really seem to increase much. They were paying around 12 cents a month 5 years ago, and as of today they're still paying around 13 cents a month, so certainly not any sort of huge dividend growth there. They are not a dividend growth machine. Also, since its inception, its capital appreciation is only up 34%. Without dividends, that's only about a 5.5% return annualized. While that might sound bad, Divo is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. Not as volatile as the overall market, and it's producing solid income every month, and protecting the principal investment. This would be very ideal for those close to retirement or in retirement who are happy with how much money they have and just want something that will keep up with inflation. They're in the wealth preservation mode of life and not necessarily the wealth accumulation phase of life. In the future, I don't think inflation will be as ridiculous as it is today, so that 5.5% dividend yield, that will certainly help pay for living expenses. Divo offers great diversification in its holdings. Though it may only hold 26 positions, it really makes each position count. Just look at this beautiful pie chart with exposure to each of the major sectors. The big three are financials, tech, and healthcare sectors, 
they lead the way, but there's other sectors like utilities, consumer staples, industrials, they're all represented here with this ETF. When we look at their top 10 holdings, it's all gems here too. UNH is arguably the best dividend growth company out there. J&J &J is as safe as it gets until we move on to Procter & Gamble, and then we get even more blue chip companies in McDonald's, Visa, Home Depot, and then there's just these companies that pay massive dividends or have raised their dividend quite aggressively over the past couple of years. In their full portfolio holdings, there's even more company names that we recognize, such as Lockheed Martin, Verizon, but Divo also has exposure to call options, and we can see the exact details for their call options. The fund has over 300 covered call contracts on American Express, with a 155 strike price expiring on July 22nd, as well as a 110 strike price with Duke Energy, and this time they have 3,500 contracts. This is another reason why I love income ETFs, because they are able to pool our money together to get exposure to options trading, something that the rich definitely do, and now we have a chance to partake in that. This would require millions of dollars if we try to do this ourselves, but for a cheap expense ratio of just 55 basis points, we can get exposure to options and have a professional do all the work for us. Divo is also screening the stocks that get added to the fund by looking at their attributes, such as their market cap, management's track record of running the company, earnings, cash flow, return on equity, rebalancing their portfolio based on sector exposure, all things that investors should be paying attention to with their investments but we can have the professionals at Amplify, they'll do it for us. All right, investors, I hope this video helped in your research to see if Divo is the right investment in your portfolio. Be sure to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed for more income ETF videos. As always, my videos are found in podcast form under the Collect Cash podcast name, and I will buy stash and collect cash. See you later.